Okay, so we're ready to do some kernel work. And what do we want to do? Well, there's a lot of things that we're going to want to do, and uh, it's going to be hopefully a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it, and hopefully you will too. So I'm here on uh, my GitHub, um, and you can see some work that I've been doing on that useless ROM. Uh, but what I want to look for is somewhere in here at least I thought somewhere in here maybe okay no it must be on my GitLab let's go over to GitLab um, GitLab.com and we'll jump over to Alaska Linux user on GitLab.com and let's look at uh, what I want is gov kernel tweaks. Yeah, there we go. All right, so you can jump over to my GitLab to grab these kernel tweaks if you want. Um, one of the things that we're going to want to do is add something like a governor or an I.O. scheduler. So how do we go about doing that? Well, first, you need something to actually download. Now keep in mind, I have these kernel tweaks here, and these were written for a kernel at a certain point in its development. So be aware that depending, if you have kernel uh, 3.10.24, the governors that you steal from there may not work on a 3.18.10. You know, you need one that's at least comparably close to uh, to the source that you're using. So what I've what I've done here is I'm looking at uh, kernel source uh, for an MSM 8937 because that's the kind of system on chip we're working on that came out about the same time. It, it looks like it's 318R33 and ours is 318R24 but uh, so pretty close so this would be a good one to steal a few uh, from to, uh, to work with. Now when you're going to be adding a governor uh, you really uh, you know, it's it's fairly straightforward, fairly simple, but it's nice to have a little bit of a guide. So one thing that you can do that might be a little easier is uh, look at uh, someone else who's already done that kind of work. So that way you have an example of how to do it. So let's look at, let's bring up some kernels here. Now the kernel we're working on right now is a 64-bit uh, kernel. And so this kernel in here is not a 64-bit kernel. This JF is a 32-bit kernel. Uh, then we have this 8992, which is a 64-bit kernel. So that would probably be a better one to look at, but a lot of them would work just fine. Uh, so let's look at some commits here that I've done. And we have added governors. So that's really nice because it just gives us an example of how we can add some governors uh, to a 64-bit uh, kernel. So uh, in, in this, I added uh, Darkness, Nightmare, Lionheart, and Bioshock to this MSM uh, 8992 uh, um, kernel. And we're working with the 8937 kernel, and, and that's okay to steal from a 92 or a 37 or a 29. It doesn't, that part doesn't really matter. It's the kernel level that matters the most. So for instance, in this case, if we said, well, we want to steal it from here, uh, one thing that you can do, you can look at the make file and say, what version is this? This is 3.10.84. And uh, what version of kernel are we working with? And we look at our make file, and we are... 3.18.24. So patch level, way, way different. And that's going to make it very, very difficult to borrow that material. Uh, and so that's why we're going to be borrowing material from this uh, Xiaomi uh, um, land device. And it's, uh, you know, 3.18 R33. So very close to our 3.18.24. But the uh, premise of how we're going to add it is, is really still the same. So let's see. Uh, of course, you know, there was updating the README. Uh, the big thing that you'll want to do is obviously uh, you're going to need to update the uh, kernel default config. Okay, and so we'll, we'll uh, get to that in a minute. 
uh, we're going to update the CPU frequency for kconfig and we're going to update the CPU frequency make file. So this kconfig, what that is, that gives you choices. kconfigs are used to give people choices when they're going through menu options on what they want to add to their kernel. Kind of like going through the uh, uh, maybe like you're going to book a flight on an airplane. Well, what seat do you want? Oh, what do you want first class? Or do you want coach? Or, you know, all that kind of stuff. What seat do you want? And then based on what you pick, then this make file is going to say, hey, did you choose this? Did you choose this? Did you choose that? Okay, then you need to build this or that uh, to make this work. Um, for some reason, it's not loading the rest of this page here. Let's try refreshing and seeing if it'll finish loading the page here. Welcome to my slow internet. Um, okay, so while we're waiting for that to load, we'll uh, we'll continue moving here. So the first thing would be to go ahead and look to see what uh, what's available. And I picked this particular kernel because it has a couple of interesting uh, uh, ones that we can use. So we've dived into uh, the drivers, and then we're going to go into CPU frequency, and of course we knew that from looking at here that we're in driver CPU frequency, and uh, we have all of this CPU frequencies, and you see we have Bioshock, one of my personal favorites, Darkness, also one of my personal favorites, uh, Nightmare, that's a really good one, um, and, uh, and a few others in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to steal uh, Darkness. Okay, so we'll open that up here, and we're going to click on this raw, and we're just going to right-click on it and say save that. We're going to save that, and there we go. We're going to put that in the downloads folder, and we'll save that right there. Okay. Now... Uh, darkness is one I did add over here, so all of this uh, darkness portion will really work out well for us here if we can ever get the rest of the commit to load. I don't know why that's uh, having so much trouble here, but uh, we'll, we'll keep moving. So we've got our darkness, and we need to take that darkness and put it... Let's get back to our folder where we are here. So we're in our Lineage OS Marshmallow, our kernel, blue, Life 1x2. And so we go into Drivers, and we go into CPU Frequency. And what we need to do is take our downloaded uh, new governor that we want to use. We're going to copy that, and we're just going to paste it in here. There it is. So we can open it up and take a look at it if you're interested. Um, building governors would be a really fun uh, project to partake in. Uh, very tedious, uh, very meticulous, and uh, requires a lot of uh, smarts that I don't possess. Um, but uh, I, I've just seen some people tweak on them, and it's really fun to uh, watch what happens when you do that. So... Uh, don't be afraid to look around, poke around, and, and play around with that a little bit. So we know we need to edit, now that we have it put in there, we know we need to edit our kconfig. So we grab our kconfig, we're going to open that up, jump back over to our web here. And so our kconfig, we don't need the Nightmare, the Lionheart, the Bioshock, but we do need to add the kconfig portion for the CPU frequency governor darkness. So we're going to copy that. Go over here. And you know, uh, where do you put it? That's a good, good choice. Now, notice there's these default gov performance, right? And this is not a default portion. So what you typically see is it, it's in here twice. This will be the default. Do you want to set it as the default? And then do you just want to choose it as the governor to use? And so you have now your 
on demand, your interactive, conservative, and whatnot. So I would just put it at the end after uh, the last one. In this case, it's conservative. So we put it right in here. Um, you might want to format it a little bit so it looks kind of like the rest of them. Uh, notice that you can, you know, move that down a little bit. Um, notice I put my initials in here, and when you're doing work like this, I really recommend that you uh, do the same. And the reason being is that uh, it makes it really easy for you to find your work later. Um, also notice, like this governor depends on something else, all right? And this this would probably be true here where it would depend on CPU frequency. If you don't have CPU frequency installed, this governor won't work. Um, so you could take that depends and put it down in here. In this case, we really don't need it because you're going to have CPU frequency on anyways for the other governors. So it's, it's going to be okay, but it's a little bit maybe a sloppy way to do it if you... Uh, if you don't uh, go through, make sure you fix all your dependencies, then something could get installed that isn't doesn't have the right dependency. So this adds that governor as a choice. So now it's a choice whether you want it or not. Now you can add it as a default choice as well. Say, hey, I want to use this as the default. And adding it as a default is a good thing. You would just copy one of these blocks and then change it from user space to be... Uh, you know, darkness, and that's good. However, uh, something to be aware of is that you should try it first before you make it the default. So I think it's good to add it as a default option. Um, for instance, we'll just go ahead and copy this one, and we'll say gov um, darkness bool darkness um, select CPU frequency gov darkness and darkness and again I like to put my initials in here just so it makes it really easy if I want to just search all the files for anywhere my initials are they'll pop right up and that way I know hey this is somewhere I made a change and that's very very handy so we save this kconfig we also need to open up the make file so we open that make file and notice that you have all of these lines here with our CPU frequencies of performance, power save, user space, on-demand, conservative. We're just going to copy that one and we put in darkness. Now notice it's CPU frequency darkness and if you look at our file that we put in CPU frequency where to go? Darkness. Okay, spelling is important here. CPU freak underscore darkness. This O needs to be the same as that C file that we just looked at. So CPU freak underscore darkness. Now, uh, here, so this is where we would specify that we need to make it. Okay. Uh, if we go back to our example, And I really don't know why this commit isn't fully loading here. Let me... Uh, maybe if I do a split, maybe to reload it and put them all in there. Well, it's just not very handy to show you it this way, but uh, but we're on the right track here. I'm going to pause this for a second, see if I can't fix that, and then we'll we'll continue on. 
Okay, sorry about that. So I went ahead and downloaded Chromium so it would actually work. The problem was Firefox, the version that's in Ubuntu 14.04, is too old for GitHub, and it didn't like it and was complaining about things. So I just loaded up here in Chromium. We take a look here, and uh, so we've we've added our um, file to our our kconfig, we've added to our make file, uh, and then these were, you know, the different uh, ones that I added to this particular uh, kernel. And then we need to go to our Linux uh, CPU frequency.h in our include file. And this is where we add uh, a few lines about our default. So let's jump over there. We're going to open. We're going to go uh, back to the beginning. We say include. And we say, um, what was it that we were looking for there? Always helps if you're paying attention. Include Linux CPU frequency. So uh, we grab our include. Where do we go? There we go. Include Linux uh, and then our CPU frequency. CPU frequency dot H right there. And as we scroll down, we're going to find a list of configurations for the default governor. All right. So what we need to do is we're going to take this interactive one. We'll copy that. We'll paste it, paste it, and we'll say darkness. Darkness, darkness. So that is allowing you to define it as a default governor. So we've got those saved. And we'll take a look here. Um, now this uh, early suspend uh, that was needed by a um, by one of the. Um, governors that was added. And so that's something to be aware of. When you add a governor, you need to look at it and say, uh, you know, does it have an include? And so we look to make sure that these, these includes right here are all actually available. So we look in Linux CPU.h, right? Uh, so we go back to our include Linux, and we see if there's a CPU.h, and there is, okay? And then there's a per CPU-defs, right? So we need to look at that. Per CPU-defs, right there. Great. Uh, slab.h, so slab.h, there it is, good. Tick.h, tick.h, there it is. And then is there a CPU frequency underscore governor.h? Now notice this one doesn't say in some other folder like this does. See how this is saying it's in this include Linux folder with these, um, you know, less than, greater than. And this is in quotes. So this means it's in the same folder with it right here. So we would go back to our drivers, CPU frequency, and we look to see if that CPU frequency governor uh, dot C and H right there. Perfect. So we have all of the things that we need for this darkness uh, governor to be built. Do keep in mind, though, like, for instance, this early suspend was required for one of these other ones that I had put in here. And I don't recall off the top of my head. I think it was uh, Nightmare or Bioshock. But... Well, actually, we could just um, look at them right here, and we'd be able to see. Early suspense. So it was needed for the Lionheart. So uh, I, was, I was completely wrong there. But do be aware that when you put in a new governor, you need to check all of its includes to make sure everything that is included is actually there for it to include 
that when it builds. So uh, just be aware of that. So we're ready now to actually build what we've got. So let's make sure we've saved all of our files. Save all of these. And now we can uh, add that to our list. Oh, except for one thing. Remember at the top, we skipped over this adding it to the default config. All right, so we need to go back and add this darkness line to our default config. Otherwise, we actually won't be telling it to build it. So we've got the choices to build it. It says that if you want to build it, you can, but uh, we need to actually make it build it, make that a choice to build it. So we go to our arch, we go to our ARM64, because it's a 64-bit uh, kernel, and uh, here we're using the Alaska Linux user def config. You should probably make your own, you know, that uh, is a name that's easy for you to remember. And we'll just look for power save, right, because that's where our default governor is, and our governors are there. We'll paste in that line for the darkness. Yes, we want to build the darkness. Now, you could also copy this line and say darkness is not set. And uh, that way, uh, it knows not to say yes to that, but also that uh, this, uh, this is available for other developers when they start, if they borrow your kernel to use it, they can say, oh, I want to make sure the darkness is the default governor. Or after you're done testing it and you're like, yeah, I really like the darkness. I want to set that as the default. Then uh, then you can do that here. Again, I don't recommend setting the new governor as the default until you've tested it. And you might say, well, why? I mean, it's you, it came from a working kernel. As long as it builds, it should be fine, right? Not necessarily. You may have to tweak something to get everything working perfectly in order. So, we'll go ahead and... Uh, make clean and make our boot image again and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I went ahead and flashed that to the phone and I took a screen recording and something very interesting happened that I want to show you here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and play this video just so you can see what I saw. Go ahead and make it full screen here. No, oh, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta install this because I never run a video in here before. All right, so finally got that all installed. So what you can see here is I set the big uh, to darkness, and then I go to the little and I try to set that to darkness, but it doesn't stick on the little. It immediately switches back to on-demand. Okay, so the big cores, the four big cores took the darkness and the little cores did not take the darkness. All right, so I wanted to leave that in there to show you specifically that, first off, it did work for the big cores, which is great, um, but that uh, you do need to be aware of why I didn't set it as a default because those little cores did not like having that as the uh, as the governor, and I don't know why exactly. Uh, you know, you'd have to dig into that a little bit more. Um, I do believe the darkness governor was written back, uh, you know, uh, back in the day when there wasn't uh, quite as many cores, and they definitely didn't have big and little. And so it may be that it's not a very good governor for a 64-bit phone that has eight cores separated into big and little because it may be, uh, you know, conflicting over, you know, gathering together the list of all the cores to set. And for some reason, it's just not working for the uh, the little um, the little cores. But so definitely something to be uh, to be aware of if you're building uh, something like this for yourself. So you might want to check out which governor you're using. Then you would have to do some troubleshooting to continue. But this does show how you can add a governor to your kernel. And for all intents and purposes, this is working, but only as an option for the big, for big cores of the kernel. So 
just something to uh, look at and be aware of, and uh, hopefully you found that interesting. And uh, next time we'll look at uh, maybe doing some I.O. schedulers.